boys and girls, it's time for the Math Badger Blip. All right, today what I'm going to be talking about is finding common denominators. Mm, what is a denominator? A denominator is the number on the bottom. So I have numerator, denominator, bottom number of a fraction. So finding common denominators means that they have something the same about them. So I'm going to look at an example here, like one-half plus one-third. Well, if I'm looking at my denominators, two and three, do they have anything in common? Not yet, but I'm going to find the LCD. Ooh, what's LCD? That's like all those fun things you say, LOL, ha ha ha, OMG. Those stand for something. So LCD stands for least common denominator. And I know you can remember that. So LCD is least common denominator. And I break it down into steps, and you're going to be able to do this. So first, step of one, look at the denominators. That's easy. I can do that. What are my denominators? Two and three. Well, I already got step one, looking at my denominators. I'm a looking. Step two, I decide which of those two numbers is a bigger number. Which is bigger, two or three? Well, that's not hard. Three is a bigger number. Everyone understand that? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so three is the larger number. Then, I have to write down the first five multiples of the number three. So I'm going to write them on the board, and you're going to think of them in your head. So if I'm writing down multiples, multiples means it gets bigger. So if I write down the multiples here for the number 3, I'm going to write 3, 6, 9. Good, we're going up by 3 each time. That's the rule. 12 and 15. And I'm going to stop there. I may have to go on further if they don't have anything in common there. But for right now, 5 seems like a good number. So I wrote down the first 5 multiples. You're with me there. Now the last step is I have to look at my smaller denominator and decide which of those numbers can 2 go into. So I look and I say, can 2 go into 3? No. Can 2 go into 6? Yes. Can 2 go into 12? Yes. Okay. And it cannot go into 9 or 15, because those are odd numbers, and two, remember, splits in half. So right now I have common multiples for two and three right here. So that's, hmm, now I have to pick out my very last step. I have to find the smallest of those common multiples. I'm going to find the LCM. Hmm, what do you think LCM could mean? If LCD me meant least common denominator, what do you think LCM means? Yeah, least common multiple. So now this is going to be my LCM, my least common multiple. And that's the common denominator for 2 and 3. I'm not going to get into making equivalent fractions yet. I just wanted you to know how to find a common denominator. Okay, you're going to have a great lesson. Good luck.